Some good advice there. Now, ahead of the Pyongyang summit, many uh, North Korea experts have also gathered at the main press center in Seoul. Their discussions centered around the possible outcome that the third meeting between the two Korean leaders uh, could potentially uh, produce. We hope it is a positive one. Our Cha Sang Mi takes us to the MPC. What a year. At a panel discussion hosted Monday by Arirang News, experts weighed in on the topics that might come up at the Pyongyang summit, ranging from a written promise by North Korea to destroy some of its weapons, to complete denuclearization, to the lifting of U.S.-led sanctions on the regime. There are two kinds of concessions, you know, I call it shocking. Number one, complete declaration, so, and report of nuclear program list. But it is not going to be easy for him to to report. But if he did, it's a shocking concession. Another one is a partial uh, destruction of weapons or missiles. Each expert had different ideas about the summit's outcome, but they agreed that the UN sanctions might be the stumbling block for improving ties and especially for economic cooperation between South and North Korea. That's because the sanctions make it impossible for the Korean leaders to follow through on things they might put on paper. The experts also discuss what the next step might be, suggesting there might be another summit between Kim Jong-un and President Trump. Yet when asked about what the latest inter-Korean summit means for the U.S. and the Trump administration in particular, defense expert Harry Kaziani said that the bigger threat for the U.S. right now is its dispute with Beijing. China is the much bigger threat. In fact, to be very honest with you, if North Korea did not have nuclear weapons, I, I do not think the United States would, would be as concerned about the, the, the North Korean issue. So I think we have to look at it, the whole situation for the Trump administration and for its Asia policy through that China lens. But he mentioned that President Trump is more engaged with domestic politics at the moment, so he might try to leverage a second Kim Trump summit for the midterm elections in November. But a Korean expert doesn't think Kim Jong un will go for that. My personal opinion. Uh, is that um, it is not easy for Kim Jong-un to listen to what Trump says, which means that I don't think it's easy for Kim Jong-un to begin with you know, declaring what it has, because he cannot trust Trump. The experts ended their talks with their best wishes for the Pyongyang summit. They called on President Moon to be a guarantor this time, not just a mediator, and to get some concrete result on denuclearization and to bring peace to the Korean Peninsula. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.